Hey everybody, what we're going to be tying today is a Smoky Mountain candy. It's a dry fly, it's an old Smoky Mountain fly, obviously. So let's get to tying. Alright, what we're going to be using is a size number 14 Temco 100 hook. Okay. I'm going to use some microfine dry fly dubbing, PMD, pale morning done, and all done combination. I'm also going to be using some brown uni thread. I'm going to use 8 aught here. 6 aught is appropriate also. I'm going to use some moose body hair for the tail. And then I'm going to use some Antron yarn for the wing. And then for the hackle, I'm going to use a combination of a grizzly hackle and a brown hackle. Both dry fly hackle. Okay. So let's get going. Now the first thing we're going to do is just start as normal. Start our thread on the hook. Come down this way. Trim that. All right. Going to come back here to the bend of the hook, which, if you remember, is the barb. I'm going to take some this moose body here and take a few hairs out of here. Don't need many, eight or nine or ten, something like that. Just cut them close to the body. Okay. Now one of the advantages of this bot here is not much guard here, there, so you don't have many little goobers to trim out of there or brush out. So then we're going to take that, and put it in our hair stacker, and we're just going to stack it. Even them up. Come back. Now, we kind of want that to be about the length of the hook. And you can see there, those are not exactly even. So I'm going to stack those a little bit more here. Okay, let's see if that's not a little better. There we go. Okay. Now, just going to tie them in right like that, just on top of the hook. Let me see if they look like. I think that's pretty much fine. We're going to come down here, wrap them maybe halfway down the body before we trim them off. Let's trim them off close, and we're going to come back here. I'm going to splay the tail a little bit just by kind of stroking it out like that and tightening down right there at the base of the hook. Okay, so I'm going to come back this way. Now, the next little thing may be the hardest part of this fly, and that's putting a little wing on. And you don't even really have to do this, but for the purpose of this class, we're going to. And I'm going to take a little section of Antron yarn, and we're just going to tie it up like that. Okay, stand it up like this and make a couple wraps on both sides. Okay, and then we're just gonna make a little cross here. Okay. Figure eight like that. Okay. And we're just gonna what we're gonna do, take those wings and we're just gonna wrap around the base of them two or three or four times. Kind of stand them up a little bit. Okay, got that. Now I'm going to come over here. this both sides now that is a little bit woolly so we're just going to go ahead and trim some of that off right now okay, we'll make the final trim we'll kind of get through this kind of gets it out of our way all right now we'll make a couple just fig right around both of them okay, there's one two Alright, 
Now, how's the little baby stood up? Let's wet them down a little bit, kind of hold them in place. I'm going to come back to the back here. Okay. At this stage, I'm going to take a little Sally Hansen. I'm just going to put a little drop in between those two wings right there. And that'll help stiffen them up. Another thing you could also do is use some of the, the uh, light polymerized goo stuff that would put it on there and just hit it with the light. But I've got a little drop of Sally Hansen's here. Just going to put it down right in there. And maybe another little drop. You don't need much. Just enough to kind of stiffen it up a little bit for you so it won't get kind of wild crazy there. Got them standing up just about like that. This stage, if you want to kind of neaten them up a little bit, uh, you don't think you need to do a Brazilian on them, but maybe you just need to trim them up just a little bit there. There you go. Okay. Now, we got our thread back at the bend of the hook. So, what we're going to do is going to put a little Little wax on them, sticky wax there. Uh, okay. Then we're going to take a little bit of our dubbing. Okay, now this dubbing has a little bit of a tint of green and yellow to it, olive and yellow. And it just I mean, flies calls for a dirty yellow. It's just basically kind of a combination blue wing olive and a, a um, little sulfur pattern like that okay put just a little tiny bit more on there okay what we're gonna do I'm just gonna make the body Come in front of the in front of that wing tooth a little dubbing. Don't need much, but just a little ways. Uh, kind of gives you a base when you wrap the you wrap the uh, hackle on it. Just kind of makes it look a little neater. So there you go. Okay, now we're going to come back to behind the wing, and we're going to put our put our hackle on here. Okay. All right. And just taking just attach it a couple wraps. A couple wraps. Okay. Trim that a little bit, the little tag right there, which I missed. Here we go. Okay. Got that. Now we're gonna do our Grizzly hackle here. Same process, just okay. Okay, you come right back up to here where your head's going to be. Now you can either wrap these separately. We can wrap them both together. So let's just see if we can't be lazy and wrap them both together here. Saves you just a little time here. Do one wrap front, one wrap in back, two wraps in front, three. Let's just get it tied down. Okay, a couple wraps behind, a couple wraps in front just to pinch it off. I'm just going to snip the hackle. Okay. Just like that. Trim it just a little bit. If you got little tag ends that you don't like, which is pretty hairy right there. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to make our head. And now, time for the grand finale, the whip finish. Okay. 
got this, now you just get your wing where you want it, trim it to the length you want it. It's just a little longer than that hackle. Right. If you've got some little tag ends back here, you can come back and trim them off too. Which that can happen. Smoky Mountain Candy. Yep, it's a little, it's a little trimming right here. Let's get this little cooter out of the way here too. There we go. Okay. All right. And one more little trim. Okay. There we go. All right. Enjoy the fly.